So National Coming Out Day was last week. Pretty sure everyone knows I'm that kind of out, so I didn't feel the need to make a big deal about it. But today, I'm coming out of a different kind of closet. My name is Dr. Kim, and I'm spiritual. Yeah, on top of being a chiropractor, which is already considered pretty woo-woo by many people, my PhD is in pastoral counseling. It's basically a religious degree. I kept that part of my life pretty well compartmentalized for years. On the professional side, I really didn't need to fan the flames of misty woo-woo. It was already an uphill battle to fight for basic credibility in the healthcare world. On the personal side, my family, bless their hearts, already thinks I'm some kind of Satanist. So I figured, why add fuel to the fire? It seems like keeping my spiritual side locked away and separate was the smart thing to do. But the thing is, you can't live a fully integrated and balanced life without, you know, fully integrating your whole self. And many of my teachers, professional, chiropractic, personal development, writing, and spiritual, have all said this exact same phrase to me. You're, You're not, not a, a human, human having, having a spiritual a experience. experience. You're a spirit having a human experience. It seems like more and more people are coming to this conclusion, which makes it safer to even more people to come out of the spiritual closet. On the one hand, that's great, because it means that more people will find the freedom and courage to live out their true will or life's purpose. On the other hand, it means get ready for some jackasses to ruin it by taking advantage of vulnerable people. Just remember, you have your own direct connection to spirit or source. However you define that, you are directly connected to it and you don't need anyone's permission to access it. And while it can help to meditate for hours a day, restrict your diet, or live in a cave and all that, you still have 100% access to spirit or source even if you're in the middle of a hot dog eating contest or watching NASCAR. I really did have a spiritual experience once at a NASCAR event. There's really no way to explain the power and the energy on that field. You just have to be there. So whatever closet you're hiding in, spiritual or otherwise, remember, the world needs all of you, and that includes your spirit. So bring your full self to everything you do, even the human day job. Happy coming out day!